Hello there, monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. We're currently standing at the Tesla Supercharger, because behind me is a Tesla Model 3 long-range non-performance, and it's time now to see what the range of this car is when you drive on the Autobahn. Normally I do top speed, but this car can do 233 kilometers an hour, so we probably won't do that the whole time. But my aim is to drive around 200 kilometers, or maybe a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, depends on the traffic. I have not driven this car enough yet to make a guess on what the range will be, but my rough guess anyway will be, I think it will do around 200 kilometers of range on a full battery. We are charging it to about 90 to 100 percent, and when it is ready, we can go and check it out. What is the range? Okay, let's go. The car is charging 93 percent, and I think that's close enough, otherwise it takes too long, and let's hope the traffic is not that bad. Hopefully the traffic is less than I was here with my Hyundai Kona. It's no Christmas holiday anymore, so I have good hopes. Let's go on the Autobahn, give power. Not yet, not too much. Hopefully the roadworks are also gone that were there previously. But let's give it a go. Power! 150, 170. 180 oh geez this car is quick holy crap 200 i think this is our speed that we go for 200 i think that's quick enough for now so okay we hit the famous german roadworks again unfortunately they are still there but that's a good time to give a little update since we have to drive a little bit slower we have driven 26 kilometers now and we have used let me do the calculation pretty quickly. That is uh, 16%. Is that, is that good or not? Can I do the math? Not that quick, but, 200, but if we do the math like this, 200 kilometers will not be doable. It will then be around 150, something like that. But we have to drive slow for now for a few kilometers, drive around 70 kilometers, and then we can hammer it again. And then I will come back. All right, I think we hit the end of the roadworks. I hope so. Let's hope so. The guy in front of me is also going to hammer it. Well, I am quicker anyway. I'm pretty sure of that. 130 and let's go. Oh, the sign is over there, but it doesn't really matter. Full power, that means, oh damn, we're all already doing 200. This is so crazy. Actually, the, the exact same spot I turn around with my Hyundai Kona. Of course, that one drives a little bit slower. That one can only do around 180. And this can do 230. But still, that means I'm also quite impressed with my Kona, to be honest. <laughs> but we almost turn around and then it's time to hammer it again. Luckily for me, this car corners quite well. 50 kilometers, yep. Kilometers an hour. And no car. Power it. Oh, man. Before you know it, you do 150. It's insane. Car in front of me. Hopefully it goes faster. Come on, man. I'm doing... I have to do some work here. Hurry up. I do this for the greater good. Oh, he's going for it. 160. 170. He's... He's throwing a lot of dirt in my windscreen, which is unfortunate, but... 200. Thank you very much. Okay. Time to relax a little bit. The road works again, but then from the other side. Uh, we've driven 110 kilometers, the cruise control is on now behind this bit of 80 kilometers an hour. Uh, let me see, One, we've driven 110 kilometers and we've used 70% of state of charge and we still have 38 kilometers to go. So I doubt 
if I if I'm able to drive 200 all the way there, but <laughs> we will see that. Anyway, this is how it is now. I think I will be there. Uh, I will get there with the last update if we're almost there. Okay, the moment is there. We are nearing 10% state of charge, and that means the the lower half goes a little bit quicker than the upper 50%. Uh, that also means we still have 15 kilometers to go that we have to drive a little bit slower probably than 200 to make it safely because the range right now when we drive 200 kilometers an hour is around 150 so that means in this 15 kilometers we will use 10% state of charge that means we will reach the charger with 1% state of charge and that's a little bit too low for my liking so we're going to take it a little bit slower then we will make it, because again, still 40 kilometers. But I think we will hammer 160, something like that. And then I will sub subtract a few kilometers in the final calculation. But you will see that when we are at the charger. Okay, so the exit for the charger is in one kilometer. I gotta say, the last seven kilometers I drove a little bit slower, 130. I didn't have FOMO, I had FORO, fear of, of running out, because eventually every kilometer was 1% state of charge. Yeah, that's a little bit too, <laughs> too quick. But the charger is at this exit, and I will see you soon. So we're back at the supercharger. I gotta say though, this car feels very stable when you drive 200 to 230 kilometers an hour. Of course, the steering is a little bit lighter when you drive that fast, but again, it is pretty quick. Then what about the range? The range of this car, when you drive somewhere between 200 and 230 kilometers an hour, is what I have measured, 170 kilometers. Um, we gotta subtract a little bit of a penalty of that, and that is because of the roadworks we had. So we had to drive a little bit slower. And in the end, I had the fear of running out because every kilometer was 1% state of charge. Well, that goes very quick then. So I also drove a little bit slower then. So if we subtract around 10 to 15 kilometers of that 170, you still have 155 kilometers left of, of range for the Tesla Model 3 long range non-performance. So again, conclusion, range when you drive that quick, around 155 kilometers. So if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. If you did not, please leave a comment below to see what I can improve. And then I would like to say now as always, thank you a lot for watching and to be continued.